Hi there, this is Mark Edelman, speech-language pathologist, and welcome to the Teaching of Talking. We're out for our morning walk, and I thought I'd share with you just something very, very brief that is really, really important. And um, the subject of this video, therefore, is priorities. That's right, priorities. And... Um, the word priority is a, uh, a pretty important thing. Uh, the word prior means to come before. Uh, so if I might say to you, uh, I made a prior decision, priority, uh, pri excuse me, uh, prior means to come before. So if I made a prior decision, I made a decision before this particular one. And a priority is something that should come before many others. So let's break it down. Uh, you know, I, I can imagine what happens in the home of someone who has a stroke and aphasia. I mean, there are so many priorities. Uh, the priorities of a hospital bed, or bring the person with aphasia home, or having the person with aphasia undergo surgery, or be in the hospital for weeks or even months, or having therapists come to the home, or having the patient at a rehabilitation center. Um, gosh, there are so many priorities um, that they are just too numerous. And I really mean that. This is too numerous to mention um, because there are just so many of them. You know, and, and the same thing goes with uh, everyday life, for all of us, we have priorities. We have priorities about our family, our children, our faith, our income, our spending, <clears throat> our education. There's just so many priorities. And you know something? It's really, really, really difficult uh, to sometimes deal with all of them. So what has to happen is that we have to prioritize. <laughs> yeah, prioritize. And um, so prioritizing is listing all of the priorities and then putting them in the order of importance. Uh, now that's pretty simple. But what happens sometimes is that you can have a bunch of priorities uh, and you can have a bunch of priorities around aphasia or the person who has aphasia and it can really be for those with aphasia or even those who don't even have aphasia and if they have a lot of priorities it can be overwhelming. So as I stated you have to be able to prioritize the things that are important to you and the things that have to be done. So I want to tell you a quick story and then I'll and then I'll get out of here. You know, the other day um, there were about four or five things that were going on in my life that were upsetting me, that were causing me a great deal of stress. And uh, so I went to sleep, and guess what? I couldn't sleep. Why? Because all of these priorities were circling around my head. All these things I knew I had to address, and um, I really didn't have it formulated in my mind what I was going to do with any of them. And no matter what I did, I just tossed and turned, tossed and turned, tossed and turned, tossed and turned, tossed and turned. I don't know if that's ever happened to you, but 
Uh, it's happened to me. And so finally, out of desperation, I, I got up from the bed and I went into the other room and I took out my iPad and I decided that I was going to empty whatever it was in my brain that was causing all of this upset and all of this angst. And so I started listing what the challenges were and what the priorities were that I really had no idea which one should I address, which one should I address first, which one should I address last, when I should address them. All, all of these questions were going through my head. So the first thing I had to do was empty, empty my brain of all the things that were causing the angst. And so I listed them. There were about, I think there were about six of them. And then once I saw them, uh, I asked myself, now, what do I want to do in each one of these cases? So what I did is next to each one that I numbered, I listed what I needed to do. And I did that very thoroughly. Yeah, maybe in a couple of sentences, that was all. And when I was finished that, you know, I then had to ask myself, well, when, when am I going to do this? When? So I knew what my schedule was the next day, and I knew the times that I had available. And so I started to prioritize which one I was going to do in the morning, which one I was going to do mid-morning, which, which ones I was going to do uh, at lunchtime, and what I was going to do at the end of the day. And you know something? When I finished that, all of a sudden, the angst went away. And I went, holy camoly. <laughs> so I got back into bed, fell asleep, had a good night's sleep, woke up in the morning and knew exactly what I needed to do and get done. This is Mark Edelman, speech-language pathologist, sharing with you uh, a, a simple little strategy about priorities. And uh, I hope you can benefit from it. I sure did. And if you can, uh, great. I hope you'll make a comment about it down below. If you've liked this video, please give us a a heads up or a thumbs up, and um, then um, down at the bottom of uh, teachingoftalking.com, we ask you to go there to teachingoftalking.com, and the address is below, and the link is below. Just click on that, and it'll take you to teachingoftalking.com, and you can look at the products that we have to help you learn how to uh, help people talk, if that's a priority of yours. And we also have a questionnaire there. If you'd like to have a free consultation with me, you can uh, fill out the questionnaire and send it to me. And if I think you're a good candidate for the Teaching of Talking Method, I'll uh, send you um, uh, an invitation for a call, or I'll provide you with the information uh, or the question that you may have. Um, there's also a... Uh, uh, a Facebook link if you'd like to join us on Facebook. And um, so, and if you'd like uh, t the, our book or if you'd like the video course or you, if you'd like personal mentoring, you can also contact me at Mark Edelman at teachingoftalking.com. We also offer in service training to hospitals, clinics, private practices and educational institutions, and we provide a certification program that will certify you in the use of the teaching of talking, which is helpful not only in aphasia, but it's helpful uh, when dealing with almost any kind of speech difficulty once you have reached a level of carryover. So it's great for caregivers who are just uh, learning what to do to help their loved ones at home. 
And it's great even for therapists who are looking for faster and better ways to help their clients speak better. So this is Mark Edelman, speech language pathologist. Don't forget the thumbs up and please make sure that you join us on our website and that you put your name on the mailing list so that we can send you videos and blogs. Thanks a lot. And we look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye now.